Panthers have pushed the Capitals to the brink of elimination by virtue of a 5-3 win last night. And tonight, Tampa faces elimination. And joining us to talk about the Stanley Cup playoffs, the great Darren Dreger of TSN, star of the uh, Insider Trading. How are you doing today, Dregs? I'm doing well. Not quite as well as you, given the backdrop that you have. I'm still stuck in my home studio here, as you can see, with the bookshelf behind me. So... Uh... Anytime you want to trade, buddy, you just let me know and I'll be on a plane. Absolutely. Well, hey, you were down here not that long ago and soaking up those NHL GM meetings, and you know how great it is. Yeah. But I got to ask you, Dregs, you are up to your eyeballs in the Leafs and Lightning series. And I'm a little shocked the Lightning yeah. are on the ropes. You got John Cooper saying, we're giving them the series. That's the quotes that I'm saying. What are you seeing? Because it feels to me like Tampa's lost their hunger after winning the last Yeah. Season. Well, they're making uncharacteristic mistakes, right? And uh, because of that, people are talking about maybe it's just battle fatigue, the fact that this team has, has played so much hockey over the past three-plus seasons. I don't buy that. You know, I see the disappointment on the face, and I hear the captain, Stephen Stamkos, talk about what they have to be better at. Hard to imagine that they can get stronger based on the start of last game, but uh, Toronto just took that game away in the second period, and then finished in the third in dramatic fashion with the old pad pass from Mitch Miner to Austin Matthews. So, I mean, I'm sure that John Cooper and Tampa Lightning are saying that they've got to execute better. They've got to be better in all departments. And one thing that we know is uh, you just, you, you, you can't give up the goals that Tampa Lightning have given up to the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're scoring enough. Offensively, they're generating enough. So maybe they'll just tighten up defensively tonight. Hey, a little off the board here, although you may be talking about it on SportsCenter. Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, and Igor Shesterkin up for the heart. We're running the poll today for Capital Auto Mall. Who should win mm -hmm. it? And it's Austin Matthews. Our voters are saying the last Leaf to win it, Ted Kennedy, 1955, if I have this right. If Austin wins it in your mind, you know, you, will you sleep well? Does he deserve it that much? <laughs> I feel that he does, um, but man, it's a tight race, isn't it? When you look at everything that Connor McDavid uh, continues to do for the Edmonton Oilers, the case is as strong as any, but you know, I, I'm a voter, um, and I can tell you that the three finalists on my ballot I have, and that is Matthews, McDavid, and Igor Shesterkin. I'm not gonna disclose in what order, uh, but when John Cooper, who again, we just talked about the amount that the Lightning have won over the last couple of seasons, and Cooper deserves a good amount of the credit, a highly respected coach in the league. Um, as part of his media availability earlier today after the morning skate, he didn't flat out say that Austin Matthews deserves to win the heart, but he did acknowledge how difficult it is to score 60 goals in the National Hockey League. And, and for me, that matters, Rod. You know, as, as creative, uh, as jaw dropping, uh, player as Connor McDavid is uh, points all of that I understand goals matter more so uh, I feel like Austin Matthews should uh, probably win outstanding well I tell you and I, I just looking up that list the 1980s Wayne Gretzky just bing 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 man yeah. sometimes we forget eh how awesome this guy mm -hmm. well we don't I just watched boys on the bus the other day my god drags what a play <laughs> I am <laughs> you know, even when, when I, when I, we had Rick talking on the Rain Dregs podcast today, which will drop later. And, you know, we're talking to talking about just interacting with, with Gretzky on the TNT panel. Now, granted, Wayne Gretzky and Rick Talkett have been real close buddies for many, many years. So I don't think that there'd be much that would surprise talk. Uh, but just watching the game and trying to visualize, see the game, these postseason games through the eyes of Wayne Gretzky, it never gets old. It never gets old. And, you know, just to, to, to go back to that era, how goals came so freely, how physical the game was. It's a completely different game, but I could envision Wayne Gretzky playing in 2022 and being equally as dominant as he was back then. So uh, it's too bad we'll never get to see that. But we're, we're watching some pretty good talent when you look at Matthews and McDavid and oh. Nate McKinnon and go down the list. Shoot, he might be better, Dregs. Look at the might abuse. I'm, again, I'm watching boys on the bus. Yeah. He's being just mauled, and he still had 200 Crazy. points a season. Imagine now. Yeah. Anyways, um, the Flames and the Orders are getting enough pub. If we get time, we'll get to them. But the Jets, we have a lot okay. of viewers in Winnipeg on Game Plus TV, 
and it ain't mm-hmm. good, Dregs. I know you're the most connected guy in the NHL. I feel you are. What is going on there with that team? Yeah, a lot. Uh, that's fairly obvious. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think Kevin Shoveldayoff uh, is, is going to have a real rough off season, And what I mean by that, he's just not going to have an off season. I mean, they're focused on preparing now for the draft after the draft lottery and the hockey operations pieces, you know, are, are working tirelessly in preparation for that. You know, he's acknowledged that Dave Lowry is, is uh, you know, if he's happy to come back for an interview, he can interview for the job. But I think all of us know Dave Lowry is not getting the job as head coach of the Winnipeg Jets moving forward. You know, the Barry Trotz speculation, Rod, as you know, that's going to be endless until Trotz acknowledges that he is coaching, wants to coach next year, or he's going in a different direction and he's not going back to the homeland of, of Manitoba. Um, So Barry Trotz is, uh, I'd I'd call it a priority for the Winnipeg Jets. He'd be a priority hire. But if it isn't Barry Trotz for whatever reason, you know, does Pascal Vincent have an opportunity to come back into the Jets organization? He's working, you know, with the Columbus Blue Jackets now. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get an interview. And that's just the, the front office stuff. We haven't even talked about the possibilities around Mark Shifley and what's going to happen there. I don't see a Winnipeg Jets lineup next season with Mark Shifley in it. I just don't. Um, And I thought that before Mark Shifley came out and said what he said. Uh, The tricky part, Rod, is what kind of return can you expect for Mark Shifley? Excellent contract. Terrific hockey player. Are you going to get what you need to make that move? Because it feels like a move that needs to be made. Well, until he opened his mouth after the last game, I would have maybe traded for him. Now I don't think I would want him on my team with that attitude. The Winnipeg viewers want to know who you think, or no, who you would like to see coach the Winnipeg Jets. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, Well, I know Pascal Vincent is a good coach. He's proven that um, at the American League level. I know he's an excellent communicator. I don't know Pascal well, so this isn't a a buddy promotion by any stretch of the imagination. I like the new guys coming in, Rod. I do. You know, Lane Lambert's name has been out there for a couple of years now. Uh, If he doesn't get the job in replacing Barry Trotz, I believe Barry Trotz recommended Lane Lambert, you know, to be the next head coach of the New York Islanders. And somebody needs to to take not even a chance, just give him the opportunity because he is certainly ready. So there's a couple of guys for sure. I mentioned Rick Tockett earlier on the podcast. I just, I, I like everything about Rod, Rick Tockett. He reminds me of Rod Brindamore. Um, you know, just the way he played the game, uh, the old school type of coaching. But there's some new blood that's mixed in with all of that too. He works hard behind the scenes. He leans on video. He breaks down games. Um, I mean, I'm sure Talk would have interest in, in any NHL head coaching job. So. Yeah, they'll they'll be they'll be some interesting individuals that uh, the Winnipeg Jets are going to have to consider for sure. I smiled wryly when you said Lane Lambert because, as Curtis Hunt would yeah. call him, vain, vain Lambert because he stepped right <laughs> out of the pages of GQ, as you know. Dregs, we'll let you go. You're a busy guy. Love your stuff. Keep it up, my friend. Enjoy the hockey. All right, thanks, Rod. TSN's Darren Dreger checking in from the Big Smoke. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And if you like the program, check around for other segments of The Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.